What an absolutely beautiful sunny day it is. Now odds are you're gonna hop on a bicycle and you're gonna go out, exercise, get that heart rate up. But in this particular case, let's pretend that it's rainy and dreary outside. You need to exercise inside with your own stationary bike indoors. Now in this particular video review, we're gonna go through from square one, pretending that you just got this in the mail from amazon.com. We're gonna put it together and we are going to go ahead and put it to the test to see if it's all it's cracked up to be. All right, so we are seeing that these bolts correspond to putting the head on these uh, bull bars. And then you see that these four bolts correspond to the front down there and the back right down there. Super easy. This guy, I think he's on his 25, maybe 30th pass of actually cleaning off his sidewalks. There is no grass, no grass, not a blade left on that sidewalk. I appreciate clean neighbors, but, but, but this is getting excessive. I think we're going on 30 minutes of him going over the same space. Done, 16 minutes, 54 seconds. As far as adjustment points goes, there are three points of adjustment. The first one is the uh, actual riser, the stem, which goes up and down, as well as the actual seat itself. Down we go, turn that. And then the last and final point of adjustment is the actual pedals themselves. Ratchet strap type functionality that goes down like so and it locks in. And as we continue to wait on my neighbor, let's go ahead and download the app. We're gonna click on AI Gym in my iPhone store. We're gonna download that. We're going to set it up, take a photo of myself, type in my name, my height, my weight, all that good stuff, including your workout goals, which is pretty darn cool. And then we're gonna pair the bike by going over, plugging it in, turning it on with a little rocker switch, and going back to the app, pairing it, and then at that point, you are good to go. Let's go ahead and scroll down and actually show you a quick little demonstration of the five minute workout. Obviously, I'm not gonna be doing the entire five minute workout. That would be a really boring review video, but we're gonna go ahead and click on that. We're gonna evaluate the goals, kind of see where we're going, and then we're gonna click go and rotate it horizontally. Three, two, one, action. And yes, this is the actual soundtrack on the app, but we have the ability to mute, so we're gonna do that and- All right, okay. I've just been doing this for only 30 seconds. I don't even have proper bike shorts on and I'm breathing hard. The app is absolutely brilliant. They've got these, these uh, you, you try to hit, hit these benchmarks for a certain amount of time. So let's say for example, in my particular exercise, I do a certain speed for 30 seconds and then I continue a bit harder to match their speed that they need me to for another 30 seconds. And then I match another one for another 30 seconds. And they can actually tell whether or not you're matching them. And if you stop and then suddenly start going again, you'll see a little spike. This is absolutely brilliant, you guys. This is a game changer. Now, the app itself is fairly intuitive. The only downside to the app is the music is incredibly annoying but there's a mute button in the upper right in case you want to listen to your own music or watch a Netflix show or prop up a tablet right in front of you right here. Wow, I can barely talk. This is amazing. Talk about getting your heart rate up. Who needs one of these bikes back here when you can binge on Netflix and look good at the same time when you're all done? Now, some of you people do not like technology and you're like, Bo, do I have to connect my phone to my exercise machine in order to get a workout in? The answer is no, you don't. You can switch it over to manual mode simply by doing the following. So we're gonna actually go ahead and buckle up right there into our stirrups. And I'm actually gonna show you how you rotate through the interface. Handy, handy, yes, you may thank me later. Right now we are in Bluetooth mode, which means that if I were to open up my smartphone, I could connect to this and then I open up the app and I can do one of the fun little exercises they have. Or you can tap that, it's kind of a little touch screen type thing and that actually shows uh, the duration of my workout. Tap it again, that shows the resistance of uh, basically the pedal, so gear up for example or gear down. 
And then if we were to continue through by tapping, that shows how much watts I'm generating. Tap it again, those are the rotations per minute. And when you click it one more time, we go back to the beginning, which is Bluetooth. So I'm gonna demonstrate for a moment and start pedaling. We're just gonna tap it. And the duration should be starting here. I've only been going for, it looks like two minutes. Well, oh, well, well now it's three minutes. Okay, getting a workout in right now. We're gonna tap it again and we're gonna go over to the resistance. And this is crazy, you guys. When I rotate this up, it immediately gets harder. When I rotate it this way, it gets easier. I'm actually gonna show you how hard we can make the resistance. It goes all the way up to 40, right there. And then at that point, I actually have to stand up and it feels like I am cranking up a hill. Wow. That really gets the heart going. We're gonna put it back down. There we go. Okay, that's really, really hard. When I tap it again, it shows how much watts I'm generating. All right, and then tap it one more time. Those are the rotations per minute. And that is how you enter sort of the manual mode if in fact you want to just, I don't know, check out and watch a Netflix show or something like that. You don't actually want to connect to, oh boy, I gotta turn that down. I can barely breathe. You don't actually want to connect to an app uh, to get exercise in. You can just do it like that to adjust the resistance manually. Handy, handy, huh? Wow, I gotta, I gotta catch my breath here. I'm gonna be in shape for mountain climbing season with this thing. All right, so if you are looking for a reasonably priced, net, now we're not talking about, you know, the, the competition out there that has its live spin classes, but if you're a cheapskate like me, you just need something to kind of keep you accountable. And let's say that it's an app that actually makes sure that you're hitting those benchmarks during your exercise to keep you going. This is it for you. I mean, it really sounds like I'm gushing over this for a moment, but I have put together about two or three other bikes, stationary bikes from Amazon, and, and I have quickly either sold them or trash them. And I, I actually ended up getting a Le Monde a stationary bike off of Craigslist. But this, this might in fact take its place. Wow, five out of five stars. The only other thing to keep in mind is the stability. I am on cement right now. If in fact you're gonna put this on carpet, I'd highly recommend to get something relatively stable. Uh, let's say, for example, um, just a piece of plywood. Just put it on top of the carpet just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. Because if you're spinning like crazy, you don't want those extra, that, that rocking back and forth motion. I mean, you're not gonna fall over, but it's gonna get annoying eventually. So that's the only uh, recommendation that I would give you. Put a piece of plywood underneath. Other than that, this is amazing. Highly recommended.